MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Scott, the Eagle Ranger machines, they're all available with various types of automation. Yes, that's right, Joe. Um, we always try to give the customer the optimum in flexibility. OPS Ingersoll su supply various levels of automation system. Probably the easiest one to start with is what we call the, the multi-changed lights. So the housing behind you is for the lights and for what we call the performance system. The light system starts with 70 electrodes, maybe five UPC workpiece pallets, and it can simply, it's like a job order list that the, the operator can program from the control itself. When we move into the performance system, we can move that up to 154 electro places, maybe 10 UPC workpiece pallets, and then the operator has full job management system where he can interrupt the process as and when the jobs become of a more higher priority to limit the downtime on the machine tool. So typically we have eight UPC pallets, this can be extended, with 300 by 300 area, up to 100 kg loading per position. Because the technology is built and constructed by OPS Ingersoll, all the technology is coming from one hand, it means it's also very competitively priced. Do I need to know how to program robotics? Absolutely not, Joe. Everything's set up by OPS Ingersoll. You use all the programming system that you've learned on the actual standalone machine itself, and the job management system simply is telling the machine which jobs are in which pallets, either manually or by chip identification. So it's a very flexible automation system? That's right, Joe. You see the space on the side there, that, that's to enable us to put another EDM machine or even a high-speed milling machine where we can link the two technologies together. We call it a mold center. So I can come from my high-speed machining center into the automation and across to the EDM? The normal way that it would work is people would be maybe uh, milling electrodes, maybe during the night time, they'll have a steel piece working ready. The EDM process takes longer, so then the EDM process would start. Meanwhile, they may be doing some high-speed milling of their steel components. So in conclusion, Scott, why is an engineer going to embrace OPS Ingersoll technology? Because OPS Ingersoll technology is all about growing with the technology, building the technology up and holding the customer's hand as they do so.